Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your April 2022 mid-month general readings. We are looking at the last two weeks of April and this reading is for the fire sign of Libra. Welcome everyone. As always, thank you for taking the time to be here for all your likes, shares, subscribes, support, donations, feedback, comments, those of you who reach out for personal readings. All of it welcome and all of it greatly appreciated. <clears throat> So thank you. Okay, Libra, this reading is for you for the last two weeks of April 2022. That's if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Libra. It's also relevant if you're cross-watching for a Libran. Of course, it's going to resonate a little differently for everyone. It's a general reading. So if you know your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, watch the videos for each of them because they can provide a little bit of additional insight and perspective into what's going on in your life. <clears throat> and if something does resonate with you, enough that you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, perhaps take a deeper look at something for yourself or as a gift for someone else, feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can also get that contact info by clicking the description link, the arrow attached to this video. I'd be delighted to hear from you and I can usually respond within the same day with more information. I do offer a wide variety of readings in all areas of life. So message me if you're interested. Okay, Libra, let's take a look and see what the last two weeks of April are holding for you. I am using the Tarot of Dreams <clears throat> and clarifying with the Gilded Tarot. We begin with a little healing, potentially. Six of Swords, slowly but surely moving away from the source of the pain, the challenge, the illness, it's a card of recovery of the healing process, which means particularly in the beginning, there's up days and down days. The worst is behind you, choppy, muddy waters, and you're moving into a place that's more serene, harmonious. Uh, it's healing. You're not quite to the other shore and on solid ground yet, but you're headed there. So it's transitional and fluid energy. With the world, final completion, graduating, moving up to the next level which has a whole new landscape full of different options and opportunities. It's the last major arcana card in the tarot, the first one being the fool who has the zero on his card, because the entire tarot journey, it's just that, it's a journey of the fool, which is us. Learning, growing, changing, and evolving until we get to the very last card, which is the world, which represents completion of a particular chapter or set of chapters in your life. You've learned everything you can, and you're now moving on to the next stage, another brand new journey. So this is literally, quite literally, healing and moving on. This is, this is moving through and then out of the cycle of healing or grief and loss. Successfully overcoming. Next we have the lovers. A relationship, a relationship at a crossroads, a choice that will decide the life and future or impact that it has on the relationship. Now, <clears throat> in the earliest tarot decks, there was no lovers. It was actually called the choice. It showed a man standing in front of two women. Doesn't necessarily mean that's a third party situation here, although it might be for some of you. But the lovers represent, you know, a relationship at a crossroads and whether the choice might be about the relationship itself, like where it's going, if it's going anywhere. It might be in another area of life, but it significantly <clears throat> has an impact on the relationship. So there's a relationship kind of at a crossroads here and a decision or choice on the table. With that, we have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Could be you, could be another air sign. It is, <clears throat> that's relevant here. For many of you, it's probably one of you in this relationship <clears throat> and then we have the ace of coins aces represent the number one so they represent a new start a new beginning or an opportunity for that the ace of coins is the ace of earth so this is a more practical energy could be moving relocating new job new project new home starting out together at the beginning of a of a new path with a kind of a plan in place with the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Air, which governs our intellectual landscape. So this can be, it's a card 
associated with success that comes from seeing something in the light that what it of what it truly is uh, illumination clarity things being revealed the success aspect of the ace of swords comes from okay this is what the thing is without being colored by too much emotion and particularly if it's not what you want it to be in that space of being able to see it in absolute clarity you have the options and choices to take action and make decisions to create a better and healthier reality for yourself so this is a new beginning that comes from some kind of clarity or new perspective likely about the relationship because that feels like it's central here and <clears throat> from the bottom of the deck the overall energy and focus for the last two weeks of april is the page of coins the page of earth just starting off pages usually represent student apprentices messages messengers children young people being at the start of a new path pages aren't manifestors which is why they're pages they're message message deliverers you know because they don't yet have the maturity age and experience to begin to take what they're starting to learn and actually begin to manifest or apply it they do when they become knights, but as pages, they're just learning, students, um, messengers. So let's clarify that overall energy of the page of coins. <clears throat> the Knight of Cups. Knights represent offers or opportunities, the speed at which situations move. The Knight of Cups is the Knight of Water, which governs our heart area, our emotional life. So this is an offer or opportunity that's driven by love, support, encouragement, someone who cares. The world, again, help to bring something, help. And I mean, we have the world with the Six of Swords. So it's about, it's about... This is about a healing process within or about a relationship. And there's an offer here. You're hearing about an offer to help move something along and bring something to a conclusion. Now, this is a general reading, so the specifics, details, and intensity are always going to vary. It feels like this is pretty much mostly centered on a relationship, so it probably will not resonate hugely with those who are not in a relationship because um, there's an already established relationship central here there's an offer to take something to the next level to completion which means the next level now because it's a general reading that could be with with a relationship in a couple of different things that could mean taking help to kind of create some healing and balance within a relationship so that it can move to the next level or it may be just facing you know some kind of uh, truth that both people are not on the same page and so they can't continue together but there's help and support through the healing process from you know separation or breakup or divorce or something like that the whole theme here the focus for the last half of uh, April is that you're hearing you know there's an offer to help do this one way or the other clarify the six of swords healing Moving away from the trouble, challenge, pain. Could be physical healing too. You know, healing from physical or mental physical issues. <clears throat> Six of Swords. It's clarified by Temperance. And the five of swords so here's your balance here this is kind of adjusting to what comes in and maintaining grounding it's a card of balance and trying to to bring opposing things together in a way that makes an even mixture which is what balance is five of swords is a hard one victory a difficult healing process which again can mean a couple of different things it can mean a difficult healing process within the relationship or kind of realizing that these two people are not really going to continue together and it's about kind of figuring out that healing process as well clarify the world endings completions the next level uh, definitely with these two aces at the end 
someone is moving on in some way. <laughs> Clarify the world, whether it's together or separately. The Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior card, almost at the end, tend being cycle endings and achievement, which is where you are you are at the start here because the world is final completion. The Nine of Wands, you're pretty much on the cusp of that. We have the Empress, we have Death, we have the Ten of Swords, betrayal, being stabbed in the back, thrown under the bus, surrendering to a painful ending, which it might be here or overcoming some kind of betrayal that happened in this relationship but death and the empress the empress is the maternal energy so it's literally about fertility and conception and planting seeds and death is endings and transformation so this is literally death and rebirth either and it's pretty profound either this relationship is going to end once and for all or in order for this relationship to continue there has to be a major profound transformation but there's help here. There's help to do it one way or the other. Clarify the lovers. Relationship at a crossroads, a choice. Trying to make a decision. The Knight of Swords, quickly. <laughs> the Knight of Fire, passion, emotion. A choice, an opportunity judgment another major crossroads choice decision the three of swords heartache heartbreak breakup separation it, it, it it's all about this way or that way this door or that door and with death and and the empress the world temperance uh the lovers judgment this is profound energy. So, and and death and judgment alone represents that there's no going back from this one. Whatever decision is made, whatever path is chosen, that's pretty much what you're the path you're going to be walking. You know. Clarify the King of Swords. Strength, facing fears, doubts, insecurities, wrestling with those. Two of Pentacles in making this choice. The Three of Wands, feeling hopeful, positive about the future. This is like looking at the future with a positive outlook, feeling like you can accomplish, you can get what you want, you know, waiting for those ships to come in. This feels like a relationship that's struggling between that's this feels like a relationship in which the people are kind of going which there's like Okay, it's time for us to get married. I'm using this as an analogy, but because this may be that for some of you. Where is this relationship going? We've been in it for this long. Either we do this or it's time to perhaps separate. One of the people perhaps is afraid, which is usually because of negative painful experiences in their past. You know, somebody who's struggling to have faith that this can actually work in the future, that if they make this commitment, it will work out, whereas maybe others in the past haven't. So there's this kind of struggle in trying to make the right decision and making it in a pretty timely fashion here. Let's clarify the Ace of Coins. <clears throat> The Ten of Wands, a long-held heavy burden coming to an end because you simply can't carry it anymore. The Seven of Swords and the Eight of Wands. This is leaving quickly and quietly. This is leaving most of making, you know, not telling a whole lot of people about what's happening, this new beginning. This is like somebody setting down what they feel is a burden or what has been a burden because it, it could represent, you know, the person's like, I can't do this and so I need to move on. And just kind of leaving quickly and quietly, leaving it behind. It could be a relationship moving forward but not telling too many people about it and kind of doing it rather quickly. Somebody making plans to move forward alone or together. Because somebody's moving forward here, Ace of Swords at the end whether together or separate because this is a general reading it's probably going to be a mixture of both well of course it's going to be a mixture of both it's not going to be the same for everyone uh, but the energy of the reading is fundamentally the same clarify the ace of swords the 
the wheel of fortune divine timing and orchestration boy there's a whole lot of pretty significant energy here page of cups messages of love support the sun and uplifting and relief uh, heavy pressures being lifted light love warmth laughter someone or someone's is definitely moving on at the end of april beginning of may i just again it's a general reading so whether it's together or separate um is not possible to know in a general reading <clears throat> but someone is definitely saying yeah this can't continue so moving on into new beginnings final guidance advice messages from spirit The interesting thing, though, is that for many of you, I'm getting a distinctive external person or persons that are quite willing to help and support you through this process, whether it's you with this other person, you know, as a couple helping you guys kind of move on to that next place, which requires like some healing and perhaps some mediation in order to do that, to bring some harmony back to the relationship so that you can move forward and have a healthy, uh, loving relationship. Or if the other person isn't willing to do that or isn't on the same page, then this love and support and encouragement that's there around you will help you through that, 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 that difficulty and pain and healing process as well. Final advice, guidance, feedback. <clears throat> the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There you are. So we have a Queen and King of Swords here, which is you, which is this relationship. The Four of Pentacles, holding back, guarding, protecting, making sure that you're safe financially, materially, and emotionally, because it's called the Miser card. The Nine of Pentacles, somebody who's worked hard to get to a place where they're stable. They don't need um, another person unless they want to be with that other person. They're financially, materially stable. Um, they are emotionally stable, empowered, and self-confident. Uh, and the Six of Swords, healing. Again, there's an indication here that spirit is a strong implication here that spirit is advising you Libra to even if during this period the two of you are together you're trying to figure this out to not give out too much to focus on your own stability both financial material and emotional to stay empowered and self-confident and understand what your what your value truly is and what you're truly capable of and don't give too much away for free there's a sense about focusing on your own independence here during the decision making process and uh, you know kind of seeing how it moves from there remembering who you are basically what your value is what you're capable of and you don't need to go beggaring yourself to anyone I think I'm just going to leave that there Libra those are your messages for the last two weeks of April I hope that you found them helpful, useful, and for this one, empowering. Uh, again, if any of this resonates with you enough that you'd like to uh, reach out for a personal reading, perhaps take a deeper dive into something, uh, feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be most happy to hear from you and to work with you. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the May, can you believe it's going to be May already, the May general readings. Until then, stay safe and well, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.